Hey, this is Anton over at thehyperadvisor.com. I'm just going to go through a quick tip here. Um, I was asked about this before in our environment. Um, I just set up a cluster here and I put two hosts in and I enabled uh, HA on them. You can see just HA on this cluster with these two uh, ESX hosts and you can see now they have the warnings on them and if we go in and click on the summary we can see that uh, this host could not reach the isolation the isolation address uh, none specified so if you see this error and I have it on both of them currently now um, what you do to fix this uh, this right here is, is a gateway problem uh, typically the the initial default isolation address is to ping the the gateway. Uh, you want to go into the configuration of the ESX um, server or host. Uh, click on the DNS and routing tab. Go into the properties. Should I click on that? And go into the routing. So you can see here we have um, the DNS configuration information here click on the routing tab and if you notice the, the the actual gateway is only configured on the uh, VM kernel here and there is none set for the service console so if I go in I put in the gateway for the uh, service console in here I'll go ahead and click OK And I'm going to also go ahead and do the the other host here that I have with the same same message popping up. Same issue. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, for each host, uh, uh, reconfigure HA. So I'll do one at a time. Okay, now that the reconfiguration for that one host is done, we can see that the, uh, the warning message is actually gone now. So quick easy tip just go ahead and do that for any of the other ESX hosts that are showing that error message in your environment um, for more information um, you could check out KB article 1028295 which also uh, details some other other steps you could take to uh, resolve that, that error message once again it's Anton Check out the hyperadvisor.com. Um, bye.